All right, you guys, this lighting is is cool. It's cool. What's up, you guys? Oh, let me get comfortable because I'm not like like I'm literally sitting on my I'm literally sitting on my foot. All right, <laughs> this is different. This is different. I haven't done one of these in a while. But hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is the Chunky But Funky channel because I'm chunky, always keeping it funky. Not funky like this, but funky like this. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that every time I start my video because I think that's cool because. People are like funky like what you smell no baby it smell good okay anyways um <laughs> uh this video by the title that's why you clicked on it if you didn't know the title and you just clicked on it i'm gonna be talking about plastic surgery i'm gonna be talking about um you know what i've gotten done to myself um don't worry well i mean i shouldn't really care i'm not saying don't worry but i'm not like announcing that i'm gonna get anything done not anytime soon but i mean hopefully soon maybe i don't know i really don't know your girl gotta save some money okay anyways so i'm gonna be talking about like stuff i have gotten done by myself i talk a lot with my hands and i have two fingers two fingernails missing so don't mind that um okay so I was inspired to do this video because I kind of wanted to like set the record straight. Don't get it twisted. I don't feel like I ever have to explain myself to people. I am really not that type of bitch, but I really just kind of like to give people information. It's more like setting the record straight, giving people information rather than explaining myself because I don't got to explain myself. And also, I feel like this will make like a good video for people, you know, um, doing their makeup, sitting down, watching me, listening to me, almost like a podcast, if you say, if you would say, if you could say, I don't know. But, you know, almost like a podcast. I listen to podcasts on YouTube and while I'm doing my makeup, um, I listen to videos like this, sit down videos where people are talking while I'm doing my makeup because uh, I can't really get up to look like i can't really like look at a screen while i'm doing my makeup so i rather like listen so i really like when people tell stories and people explain stuff on youtube like i really like those those make for good videos um so i feel like this could be entertaining for a mom just doing her makeup or her hair or just cooking or cleaning or stuff like that and they just want to listen to me so i kind of wanted to like set the record straight on what kind of surgeries i've had um what inspired me to do this video like i was trying to say in the beginning i'm very scatterbrained i don't write anything down which i should but i don't so you get what you get anyway so i had did a video on uh tiktok and um saying being silly being funny just kind of saying like how i stay chunky you know i get a lot of people saying chunky how to keep your figure blah blah, blah. and i really do and it's crazy like i get flattered every time because i'm like how do I keep my figure like I really don't see myself like that like I love myself I love my body but I don't feel like it's like 100% like you know like you really want to look like me like that type of body you know what I mean um so I had did a video on TikTok saying like how to stay chunky and I was just kind of like saying I work out because I just got back from my workout so I was feeling really good and I was saying like you know I eat whatever I want I work out but even though I eat whatever I want I still try to stay healthy you know I do this I do that whatever and then I really had like cr like it was crazy like I really had people coming for me like every other comment and it was like wow the haters really come out crazy like the haters really show their true colors and the fact that these people don't like me or the fact that these people feel some type of way about me and they're following me not only on YouTube, then they follow me on Instagram, then they follow me on Snapchat, then they follow me on TikTok. It's like, wow, you really do like me then. Like, I, is it, what is it? Like, do you like me or you do not like me because you're following me everywhere, you know? So I got a lot of people really coming for me saying like, oh, why are you lying? You got liposuction, you you know um you got a bbl you got your body done you got gastric bypass you got weight loss surgery i had all these comments of so many people like so many i don't know if it was people i don't know if it was men i don't know if it was women because some of the uh, accounts were um some of the accounts were anonymous so i had people just come out saying like all of these kinds of things that I got a BBL. Oh yeah, but you got a BBL. You got your butt done. All this stuff. Okay. 
So I was, I really was getting upset because I'm like, y'all got it twisted. Like y'all got it really twisted, first of all, because my TikTok was not meant for anybody to get offended by. It, I'm not lying about anything. Like I'm not telling you, oh, this is how to keep this perfect figure. And this is how you do it. Like I've never, I, it was supposed to be funny. Um, if you watch a TikTok, follow me on TikTok. I do have a TikTok. It is meant to be funny, okay? Anyways, so I had people coming for me and I'm like, yo, these people really out here saying that I got my body done, that I have, I got a BBL. Oh, didn't you get a BBL? Oh, didn't you get weight loss surgery? And I'm like, okay, weight loss surgery? Now I got gastric bypass? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, what? So I kind of just want to make this video. I know this video is five minutes in. But, you know, it's there's a story to get to the story to get to the story to get to the story, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's what kind of, like, wanted, I wanted to kind of, like, really sit here and say what I've gotten done to my body. Every kind of enhancement I've gotten. So, I could just set the record straight and it, I could be clear with it, okay? Um, so, I did get liposuction, all right, I got liposuction. Um, I don't know the year and the day and the time and the blah, blah, blah. I know it's probably been like maybe a year because I was pregnant with my son. I was actually pregnant with my son when I got my liposuction and I had no idea, okay? It was weird. It was like crazy. It was a crazy time. Um, and I had gotten, you know, hit up by a company to get liposuction obviously I didn't pay for it it was a deal it was a deal it was a brand deal okay um, I'm, I'm a youtuber I get brand deals um, so it was a brand deal obviously I didn't pay for it myself and you know if someone hits you up asking like hey you know we want to fly you out we want to you know lipo suck you you gonna say yeah you know what I mean so I'm like okay yeah so I worked with the company I did the liposuction um and they liposucked my stomach my whole stomach 360 around my whole stomach um so there's different parts of your stomach so you have the upper part of your stomach the lower part of your stomach and the sides of your stomach so that's what a 360 is pretty much like all of that area so i got liposucked whatever whatever smart lipo whatever the hell it is okay um i don't know i'm not a professional at it but it was I don't think it was liposuction. I think it was called smart lipo. Um, you could look up the difference if you want to Google it. Anyways, so I got liposucked. I had, I don't have a BBL. I've never got a BBL. I'll, I've always had a big booty. I got nothing done to my butt. I've had a big booty since I was born. Like everybody knew, everybody knew that I was the girl with the big booty in school, in life, since I was a little girl, I've just always had a big booty, okay? Um, now, if you guys remember me from watching this uh, channel, you guys would know that, like, you guys seen my butt before. Y'all know I had a big booty before I even got liposuction. If you could see the timeline from watching me here to my OGs that I have always been here. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you for always being here and supporting me. But if you guys know that you guys have always seen my big booty. So I've always had a big booty. I do not have a BBL. Um, I did not get gastric bypass. Okay, that's weird. Um, obviously, I have natural small breasts. <laughs> um, the only thing I've ever got was liposuction. I've had stuff done to my face, which I've put videos up here. Um, I've had lip injections, which I have half a syringe of um, half a syringe of whatever they put in there. Um, Juvederm, half a syringe of Juvederm in my in my lips, which I barely got done. I have the video if you want to see the video of me getting my lips done i have it down here please go check it out um i got it done by laser away hit up laser away if you want to look really natural and really beautiful and not too crazy because it all depends on who you go to because i was really scared of lip injections before because i seen girls looking really crazy but you know i'm getting older i am in my 30s so i just felt like my lips needed a little bit more plumping um it, i only have half a syringe very subtle very beautiful i love the job they did i wouldn't get any more or any less i am love the way they look 
Um, I'm just going for a very subtle look and just trying to keep up with, you know, as I'm aging. You know what I mean? I have got Botox, which I really love. Very subtle, very beautiful. I love my Botox. It stopped my wrinkles. I was getting wrinkles on my forehead right here and it just took away all my wrinkles. I was getting wrinkles here and it just... I love Botox. Very beautiful, very natural. I go to laser away and they're very subtle and they don't give you more than you need or, you know what I mean? They don't overdo anything and I really love how subtle and everything, everything over there I love. Um, so anyway, so I've got that done and that's it. Pretty much that's all I've gotten done. Um, will I get more? Yes, but subtle. I'm not going crazy. I'm not trying to look fake i'm always trying to look natural that's my thing is very natural um something that i would get done that i really want to get done is i want to get my breast reconstruction i have three kids i breastfed three children um so my breasts are very momish okay not only that i have to get reconstruction to my breast because um i have a breast deformation so I got to get reconstruction first and then I will just get them like nice and perky, very natural that goes with my body, nothing fake, nothing overdone. Um, I'm always just trying to go subtle, okay? Um, so plus I have three kids and I'm not planning on having any more anymore. So I would just love to, you know, bring my body back up, give me something, you know, give me a little bit of cleavage, something that I've never had because I don't have big breasts. Um... As far as my liposuction, I want to go back to that. So I did have liposuction, right? Um, like I said, I was pregnant when I had my liposuction and I, I didn't know it. Um, I did take a pregnancy test, which my pregnancy test, I took three pregnancy tests, okay? Um, I took three t pregnancy tests and they all came back negative. So technically, nobody knew I was pregnant. There was no way of knowing until... Uh, I got back from getting my liposuction because I got my liposuction in Vegas and I and I stood in Vegas for a couple of days when I got back I started feeling sick I started feeling tired I felt like I wasn't recuperating from my liposuction um I was wearing a tight faja and it really was like I was not feeling good and I thought maybe it was just due to recovery from the liposuction and stuff like that so when I came home and I still didn't get my period, I took a test. That's a whole story, but let me let me give you a little background. I took a test and it did come up positive. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like I was freaking out, crying. I'm like, I just got this liposuction. I thought like I was gonna turn over a new leave and I was gonna be able to lose a little bit of weight and I was gonna look a little bit snatched. And my goal was never to be skinny. And I had told the doctor that the doctor was aware. I told the doctor, I just wanna look I just want my shape back because my shape was definitely going out of whack. My shape was just out the window because I was doing mukbangs and I was gaining a lot of weight. I wasn't working out or anything like that. So I was just gaining and gaining and gaining and my stomach was just overflowing and it was just getting out of hand. Um, so he just kind of bring me back a few years, not a few years, but some years back to how my shape was. I've always been hourglass shape. So he bring me back my hourglass shape. Uh, I have old pictures. I could prove that I've always had an hourglass shape. I've always been shapey. So he kind of just bring me back to that. Very subtle, very natural. I told him I want something natural. I don't want to overdo it. I, I always said like I never really want a tummy tuck because I don't want to look too stiff. You know what I mean? I want to just look natural. So he was aware of that and I told him, he's like, okay, like, you know, I, and I told him chunky, I'm chunky. Like that's my name and I want to stay like that. I just want to look a little more shaky. So my doctor was aware of that and I, you know, that's what I wanted. So I thought like I was going to be able to get back a little bit, get snatched a little bit, lose some of the weight that I had gained from doing mukbangs and then, oh shit, now I'm pregnant. So I was never able to fully recover from my liposuction. I was never really able to um, get snatched really because I couldn't wear a faja. I couldn't keep my stomach together. So it's not that I have gained weight. It's not that like my liposuction is messed up. It's just that my belly has kind of just formed into a little bit of a pregnant belly. So some 
ways that I pose, you know, I my stomach could look flat, flat. In some ways that I pose, my stomach could look a little bit, you know, like a like a belly. And it kind of formed that way because I got a belly. I was pregnant. Um, so I never was really able to really get snatched from my liposuction. And it was a little bit of a waste, I would have to say. Um, another thing is, is that, um, also you don't really gain weight in that area. Your waist does get bigger. It's so weird. It's like it, your waist could get bigger if you do gain weight, but it doesn't, it stays flat. You know what I mean? Like it stays in the shape that it was liposucked into. Um, if you gain weight, you will gain weight in other areas. The fat will go to your arms. It will go to your neck. It will go to your face. It will go to your legs. It will go anywhere else it's, that's not liposucked. So you have to be careful. And my mom always told me that when I told her I was getting liposuction, when I told her I had wanted liposuction before I even got liposuction, she's like, you know, you know, the fat goes wherever, you know, it, it's going to go to your arm. It's going to go to, you're going to look, you're going to have a big back. You're going to have big arms. You're going to have big feet because the fat goes to wherever you didn't get lipoed so now you gotta go and get lipoed everywhere else because the fat is gonna go everywhere else or you gotta just lose weight it depends um i know a lot of people were saying like um crucifying me for getting liposuction all that stuff i really didn't care i was happy like i knew i wasn't gonna be thin i knew i wasn't gonna be no skinny ass twig i knew i wasn't gonna be no whole, whole new ass person i knew that i was gonna still be chunky but just chunky in all the right places. Even though I was already chunky in all the right places, I was getting a little out of hand due to mukbanging because I'm a mukbanger. I have another channel. If y'all, if this is your first time watching me, I have another channel. I do mukbangs. I eat a lot of food. Okay. Um. So since getting liposuction, I have lost weight. Um. The liposuction didn't make me lose weight. I just decided, hey, I got liposuction. Let me maintain it. Let me get down. You know. So um. I have, you know, lost weight since then, but I gain it, lose it, gain it, lose it, but I'm just trying to maintain it down. I'm still on my journey to losing weight. Like, I'm still having to keep myself, you know, healthy because I do do mukbangs. And um, I am going to be putting up a mukbang talking about that and stuff like that, about, you know, gaining weight during my mukbangs and stuff like that. You do gain weight from mukbangs. You just do. It's inevitable. You have to just keep on top of yourself. You have to just keep yourself, you know, drinking water and exercising and stuff. And I don't get to exercise that much because I'm home with the kids and the whole pandemic and it's just hard. For mothers, it's really hard and I feel like if you feel like you can't get yourself up and going, doing something like a surgery could help you so much. If you feel like you're stuck somewhere because at that time when I got liposuction, I really felt like it was an angel sent to me because I felt like I was stuck and I was getting bigger and bigger and I was depressed. I couldn't get myself to work out and it's just so many things that go into you know, you don't get surgery to be selfish. You kind of sometimes get surgery to like pull you out of things, like pull you out of depression, pull you out of being stuck in a situation. Um, so pretty much that's it. Like I, that's all I've gotten done. And would I get something else done? Yes, I'd get my breast done. And that's one thing that I really want. Um, you know, and that's, that's pretty much it. I got liposuction. I have my lips done and I have Botox, three things and that's it for now but i love you guys hope you guys like this video this is not me this is not me explaining myself this is just me giving y'all a little bit of information about me and just talking to you guys and just giving you guys a video because i have not uploaded on this on this um platform in a while and i was kind of getting a little discouraged i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it 100 i was getting very discouraged to post on this platform because i feel like it is so negative in this in this place i don't know why in my other channel it's a little bit less negative like there's a lot of people that support me on my mukbang channel there's a lot of people that love watching people eat so they're very supportive here i do other things i don't eat here i just talk i just be me or i vlog or whatever and i just have a lot of hate here on this channel maybe because it was my first channel before i even did my mukbang channel and um maybe because more haters are following me here I just don't know. I just have a lot of people that hate me on this channel and that leave bad, bad comments. And whenever I put up a video, I get so many bad comments. And 
it's discouraging like why do you want to come back here why do you want to come back and upload here if it's just going to be negative you know but i'm i gotta push through i'm strong i'm a strong ass bitch i'm always gonna push through i'm gonna keep it going because i know people want to see videos here so this is just something for you guys to listen to just something for me to put up and give you guys some information on if you guys were ever wondering so i never got no bbl I never got no tummy tuck. Oh, people were saying I got a tummy tuck, too. People were saying I got a tummy tuck and a BBL. No, I only got a freaking liposuction. That's it. And it didn't even work because I got pregnant after. <laughs> With that being said, I love you guys. Say chunky again because chunky is motherfucking beautiful. All the motherfucking time. 24 motherfucking 7. So peace.